morning. How does it feel towards the end of this rigorous one week stay here in IIT? I can see that you are still alive. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you are smiling. So does that mean that Professor Sudarshan has not exercised you sufficiently uh, rigorously? <laughs> Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the lab sessions. Uh, so do you now understand what difference it is to run a course in IIT style and how it is run elsewhere? And we would like you to implement that rigor in your actual workshop. And I'm, I'm thankful to Professor Sudarshan for reminding me that actually the main workshop, he will not be the teacher, but you will be the teachers. So it is your responsibility to ensure that all 30, 40, 50 teachers who assemble at your place do the labs and tutorials as rigorously as you can make it. And you will agree that that is what will make a difference when they teach their students. Because our students are not getting to dirty their hands when they do the coursework. They only know theory, as Professor said. But theory and practice are integral in any engineering education. Uh, you otherwise enjoyed your stay. Sorry, we did not have campus accommodation, but MTNL accommodation is a close approximation to a good accommodation. I hope you enjoyed that. You will all be leaving uh, tomorrow or some people are leaving tonight? Tomorrow morning. Traditionally, we have a, a valedictory function sort of. In our 1,000 teacher training program, we used to have it where we used to hand over the certificates very ceremoniously. Unfortunately, with 250 people, that ceremony will take two hours, and we don't have two hours. So what I have requested Professor Sudarshan is to give a valedictory address himself for about 10, 15 minutes towards the end of the course, and we'll wind up this course like that. Unfortunately, I won't be able to uh, meet you in the evening because I have to go out for a board meeting. That's another reason why I'm dressed in a peculiar fashion. <laughs> so I have to rush there. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to briefly chat with you. Uh, uh, first of all, you will notice that when you run the actual program, the bandwidth share of IIT Bombay that each one of you will get will be very limited because there are 250 institutions and a two-week program. We should extensively use Moodle, emails, chat sessions. And what is most important is that not just the questions should emanate from your centers, but answers to those questions as well as answers to somebody else's questions should also emanate. Because that is what is the true nature of collaborative problem solving. The problem that we're solving is empowering our teachers. So I would expect you to do that as well. Another suggestion which Professor Sudarshan has made is to run a, a actual course for technical staff on system administration. So I did not realize that system administration in many colleges is very weak and you do not have ex experienced sysadmins. I mean, I, in IIT, sysadmins are like gods. So we all exist because gods do their job properly. And if, if sysadmins uh, decide to take pangas with you, the entire educational system can come to a grinding on. So we respect them tremendously. They help us solving all the problems. So I would just like to say two things quickly. One is, of course, we will be doing this program as suggested by Professor Sudarshan. We are wondering whether it should be a Saturday, Sunday program or two Saturday, Sundays like we did for the students' uh, Akash uh, orientation. So we'll decide that. But there again, it, it unfortunately is not supported by any funding. So you'll have to talk to your remote center coordinators and your own system administrators can participate and will permit system administrators from neighboring colleges also to come and participate because more they learn, the better. So we'll run this program. Or most probably it will be a four day program split into two weekends, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. And as Sudarshan has suggested, this program will not be run by faculty members, but will be run by experienced system administrators, supported by faculty members wherever we, we need them. But I'll tell you one thing. You cannot leave everything in the hands of system administrators. However good they may be in their job, they do not sometimes have the total perspective. So in, in IIT Bombay, in our department, for example, we have a 
systems grow, comprising of senior faculty members. The best system administrator that we have amongst our mates is not one of the regular system administrators, but Professor Shomen Chakravart. Shomen's name you might not have heard. He's an expert in text mining. Uh, he is, of course, the best in his own field, but he is the best in many other areas, including electronics, by the way. Some of you may not. So what I'm saying is that the faculty members like you or your colleagues must also have a hands-on on the system administration. Because you are the continuously staying people. Sys admins may come and go. And that is why it's important. But we'll run this program. The second thing I wanted to tell you was about the team submissions that we expect the participating teachers to make when they finish attending your two-week program. As you are aware, they will be broken into teams of three or four or five people each, and they'll be making some submissions. Now, I had a great hope that all these submissions, now coming from 10,000 teachers, which means there'll be about 2,500 teams. Now, it's a great contribution of knowledge, and I was hoping that all of that can be immediately put onto the open source and people could enjoy the benefits and fruits of those. Sadly, in the past, we have consistently found that these submissions are lacking in several aspects, including plain old plagiarism. People just copy something from somewhere and submit as their own. Uh, this. Now, I thought this tendency was limited only to students. But apparently, <laughs> apparently it's a human problem. So human problem is that if I have to submit something, then I would like to minimize my effort and maximize the benefit. So I do not know how you will handle it, but I am proposing to put some kind of a peer review mechanism for submissions made at every center. And while you talk to them, you must tell them two things where there is absolutely no compromise. Any kind of plagiarism, any kind of plagiarism will now attract penal action. It will not be limited to saying that your submission is not good, but letters will be written to heads of the institutions and to AICT. It is that serious. It is spreading like a cancer, and we have to nip the cancer in the bud. So that's an additional responsibility I would request all of you to take, to emphasize in the minds of all participating teachers. So whatever they do, the submissions may not be very good quality, but they must be submissions made by themselves. That is, that is the most critical. Because unless our teacher colleagues do that, how will they be able to emphasize it to students? So this is something I would like you to look at very, very carefully. Any couple of questions that anybody wants to quickly raise? Yeah. Oh, so give it to Professor Sudarshan. Yeah, I did, yes. you it yes, I should give it. Sudarshan. Afterwards. Uh, Professor, I uh, recently awarded with Prime Ministry Award. I hope uh, most of you may be aware of that. On behalf of all the coordinators, I'm giving the small felicitation to the Professor. Thank you. We need your blessings always. Thank you. Wow. Nice. This is a good question to have. <laughs> I'll try to answer it over the next few days. Uh, but thank you so much for your uh, feelings. Thank you so much for your affection. Uh, what is important is you carry the same affection, not for individuals, but for the profession that we are in. We're all teachers. So carry the same affection back home and spread it. Believe me, independent of the technology advances, Teachers will remain important. Teachers will remain critical as intermediaries, as mentors, and as advisors to the students, as problem solvers for the students. And so take this passion back, and all the best. Thank you very much. God bless you. Very good.